Hey guys, what's going on? Chuck here. I'm going to walk you through the best software and configuration that I have found to have really high quality clips where all the audio and the video is uh, on separate channels and um, the final product is something that is very user friendly to a video editor. When you when you go to OBS studio.com or obsproject.com, it's going to bring you to this page. You want to go to download. You want to click on download zip. Very important. Then You'll just download it to your downloads folder. Uh, just create, an, create a folder prior to extracting, call it OBS Studio. Okay, let's keep it simple. I've already done that. So we're gonna uh, extract it to that folder and then open it up. Now, this is where all the contents of the you know software are, are contained, okay? We're gonna create a new text file and then name it OBS underscore portable underscore mode dot txt, okay? Then we're going to go into the bin uh, folder, 64 bit. Scroll down till you find obs64.exe. Before we open it, we're gonna right click on it, go to properties, click on compatibility, and then run this program as an admin. Click apply and then click okay. Now we can open up the software. Bit of an elevated uh, Windows prompt that says, you know, do you wanna run this as an administrator? Click yes. When the program opens, you can close this. We're gonna set it up manually. I know it says optimize for streaming and recording. Okay, I, I get it, cancel. We're gonna go through that. Anyways, close that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go full screen with OBS and I'm going to turn off my webcam so you can see everything that I see. First and foremost, we wanna to go to file, settings. Now we're gonna go down this menu here from top to bottom. The general tab, you don't need to change anything. Stream, you don't need to touch it. Output, okay, here we go. We're gonna change output mode to advanced. Starting on the streaming tab, we're not gonna touch it. We're going to set up our recording path. So click on browse, choose the destination that you want your files to record to. Then you want to set the recording format to MKV. It's set at MKV, don't change it. This will create a file that should OBS crash, it will not corrupt the file. If you record to mp4 directly to mp4 if the software crashes for whatever reason your recording will be unusable so record into mkvs we'll get into how to use the mkv later you will need to convert it you do it through obs it's very easy now for the audio tracks we're going to select one two three and four for the encoder okay so you're going to choose this option the nvidia invinc encoder if it's available if you have an AMD uh, graphics card, then you could use that encoder. It's, it's okay. So I'm going to click on H.264. Now we're going to go to our rate control. We're gonna click on VBR, it's variable bit rate. We're gonna set the minimum variable bit rate to 25,000, max to 5,000. Keyframe interval is going to be two seconds. Preset I have set to quality, it's fine. You can set it to max quality if you have a better PC. Profiles high, turn off psycho visual tuning if you don't have a, a high-end PC. It taxes your machine and isn't that useful. Max B frames two. Okay, then we're going, leave everything else the same. Then we're gonna click apply. Go to audio, set your bit rate to 320 on every channel, on every track. Then we're going to click apply, go to replay buffer, click on enable replay buffer, set the uh, maximum replay time. So however long you want your replay to be every time you save one, I'm gonna say you can adjust the seconds and it will tell you the estimated memory usage based off of the uh, set settings here in the encoder. We're going to set it to 60 and click apply. Next, we're gonna to go to audio. We're gonna select 48 kilohertz. We're going to disable everything. Set this up later. Leave all of that the same, click apply. Go to video. You have a base canvas resolution and you have an output resolution. These should match. Downscale filter is not necessary. Common FPS value. If you have a high-end machine, you can run 60 easily. However, if you want OBS to have an even lower impact on your machine, you can set it to 30. We're gonna keep it at 60 and apply. Now hotkeys. Here you want to find replay, go to filter, type replay, start replay buffer. So you can set whatever hotkey you want. Start replay buffer at F12. 
um, and then save replay, 11. So every time uh, you want your replay buffer to run, you will hit F12. And then whenever you want to save a replay, you'll hit F11. Click apply. Accessibility, you don't need to change anything. Advanced, you want to change process priority to high. You can keep the color space the same or adjust it however you feel it looks best. Color range full. And then everything else is going to stay the same. Click apply. Okay, now we're going to start setting up our scenes and our sources in the most efficient way to reduce the impact that OBS has on our machine. Okay, so follow this closely. We're gonna start by renaming the scene to, we'll call it Rust. If you don't know how to get this emoji, just hold the Windows key and hit period and this comes up and then you can just use whatever you want wherever you're typing. Okay, so uh, then we're gonna go to Sources, click Add and here we're going to go to game capture. We'll call it dash dash rust. We will select specific window, then choose rust. Okay. Then click on the lock and that is done. Now here we're going to add another scene. We're going to just put dash dash. Okay. Now we have a separator. The next thing we're going to do is our audio group. So rename a scene to audio group, click add, go to application audio capture, type in dash dash discord, for example, then you will identify the program that you want it to record audio for. I don't have discord open, but if I wanted to, I could record the audio from my brave, which is a Chromium based browser. I could record the audio from whatever I'm playing on Brave and control it separately, but we'll get into that later. Okay, now we're going to add another application audio capture, call it Rust Game Audio, the two dashes, select the audio, click Rust, click OK. You can do this for any audio device that you want, and what it's going to do is give you individual channels to adjust. In the audio mixer, you're gonna right click, you're gonna go to vertical layout, because it's nicer. <laughs> you're going to close it down a little bit. Okay. We're going to right click again, go to add and then select audio input capture dash dash. This is going to be your mic. Okay. Select whatever audio output device is your microphone. For me, it's Scarlett 2i2. Click OK. Now you see that we have three individual audio devices in the audio group. With that finished, we're going to move to the audio mixer and configure these settings for the best quality possible. If you can see the line, there's only one line moving. We want two lines to move. First, you're going to go to your mic, click on advanced audio properties, then click on mono for mic. You'll see that both lines are moving now. This is good. Now you want to configure the tracks in this way. On the first line, you'll keep one and two checked and uncheck the rest. On the second line, which is your mic, you'll keep one and three checked and uncheck the rest. For the third line, Rust Game Audio, you're going to keep one and four checked, uncheck everything else. With that finished, we're going to click close. You see how the green line's bouncing even though I'm not using my mic? That would be a low hum in the back in the background of the audio. We're going to take care of that with a filter. Click on the three dots, go to filters, and plus add a suppression filter, noise suppression, click OK. Here you'll select the RN noise, close, and you'll see that we bottom all the way out. That's good. Next, we're going to add a filter for a limiter. A limiter, and we're going to set the limiter to negative 13. Now you'll see when I talk, the recording will never go into the red because I've set the limiter to negative 13. Okay, moving on. We're going to add a new scene, call it dash, 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 three dashes. And then that's another divider. Now we're going to add a new scene called recording. Right click, go to add, select scene, select whichever game. Right click, go to add, scene, audio group. 
and now you have your audio group and your rust in one scene so this is what you will record then we're going to go to profile and rename to game recording next we're going to go to scene collection and we're going to rename it to game recording boom in docs we're going to click on stats now this stat now this doc is really important to have up highly suggest you use it you can drag it and kind of place it wherever you want okay i'm going to keep mine right there make this a little smaller this a little bigger And, to, and you can just go ahead and remove scene transitions. There we go. Now to be clipping your content, you have to have OBS open. So launch the game, then open OBS and click start replay buffer. Now, whenever you want to save a replay of something in game, all you have to do is hit that hotkey that we said earlier, or you can come to the window directly and click on the save replay button. I nearly forgot. You wanna to go to file, remux recordings, then click on the three dots and select the clip that you want to remux, click remux, and that is how you convert the .mkv file to the editor-friendly .mp4 file. So these are the files that you'll send the editor. And that's it. That's all you need to know. From here on out, you've made the editor's life much easier and your content is going to be crisp. Hopefully it was helpful. If you want me to explain something else, just let me know.